guys, what's up? My name is Star Levels Up, and welcome back to To The Moon. Um, a little bit of time has passed since the last two recordings, but not very much. So, we're gonna, again, just jump right into it. We're trying to steamroll through it. We're gonna reload file two, and we are back in the high school cafeteria. I'm about to jump to the next area. Hopefully, we should be finishing it up pretty soon because we're already really close to his childhood. Um, but we still haven't exactly figured out what uh, River and Isabel both seem to have. It hasn't given a name to it yet. We just know that it's some kind of, like, uh, personality disorder. But that's about all we know, so we're just gonna hit this memento and try and solve this stupid puzzle that I'm bad at. Should I even... No need. I'm all good now. Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Kame! Hey! She stopped him from being a nerd! Oh, that's so sad. Not cool, Eva. You never... I'm guessing cockblock? You never cockblock someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? <laughs> what indeed? I'm just kidding, I've seen Dragon Ball Z. Alright. Another one of these stupid ones. I'm better at these. It's, it's a little too late now, but oh well, <laughs> better late than never. Activate Memento. I've positioned my camera a little bit differently, so now it's on like the side of my monitor, so I, I feel like I look a bit weird from the side, but I can read the text better. school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. He just looks a little bit annoyed. Do we follow him? Probably. I've heard girls be called Joey. Oh, what if she was a what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? Anyway, that's what I was saying probably about. Because I've heard of girls being nicknamed Joey. Or like Joe for like Jolene or whatever. Um if we walk outside, are we gonna be in the school or do we actually have to walk through his yard and like walk there? Or is he getting on the bus? Like are we following him or are we just looking around his house? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it, since it ends in E. Joey. Jewy. Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh, yes. So jealous. Oh, blah. Not again. A glass bottle of pickled cucumbers. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. You're not wrong. Okay, the couch gave me one. What's up here? Some people, like, have whole libraries in their house. Various books with smudged pages. Mm. 
Do both of them sleep in here? Because there's a bunk bed and he doesn't have any siblings. And there wasn't a bed in the other room unless the thing that looked like a table was a bed. But that's a little weird. Like, why would you have a room designated to be like a study if you only have one bedroom? Okay, there's the memento. Time to move on, I guess. Some of these little scenes don't have a lot to them, so it makes the game go a little bit faster, which I uh, was not prepared for, so. <laughs> it's good though, I like seeing the little moments. Oh, what is this? It's all gone downhill, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to do this one. Um, there it is. A little bit over, didn't quite make it, oh well. I really hope nothing bad happens if that, if, you know, I, I'm way off on the puzzles, because I don't know if there even are multiple endings to this game. I think I've said that before, but. Why does she stand there and think for a minute? Have they always done that? I don't know. smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? Is it snowing? What the hell is that? Eva looked like she was glitching for a minute. Okay. Does he have Alzheimer's? Is there something wrong with his memory? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the mach machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last big for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in, ma in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. So I don't get to see any more of his memories? What if I never find out what River's condition was? I know, me too! What a shame, I was actually looking forward to it. What's a little sentimental liar? I just, I know it. You can't convince me otherwise. Act two. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. There's an act two to this game? How long is this game? Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration.
That's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Aye, all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just, oh, this is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believed that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? That was really sad. Why would you even make such a complete copy that it could have sentience to ask that kind of question? Ah, all of our night's work. We did go through quite a lot of stages. Sadly, I didn't get to see him like a child at all. What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. It obviously is, Ethan. You need to get a little better about yep. You need to get a little better about your puns, and I need to get a little better at talking. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass his desires from the latest memory to the earliest. Okay. Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desires. Uh, okay. match. Oh, the bunny, okay. I have to go over here. The bunny over here. Oh, well, <laughs> I could have just kept it, but I didn't. Oh, shoot. They all have to match. Okay.
little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. That's fine. Now all I have to do is that. Okay. Okie doke. We're moving along. on the edge, which means I need the bunny up here, but I can't connect that way. How do I connect them all? Or do I just have to connect them once? Hey Eva, check this out. Om nom 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 nom. Seriously? Just overcomplicating it. You only gotta connect it once. <laughs> Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. That's so sad. I was really curious about him as a child. But, seriously, this seems like the coolest job ever. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hon. Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss, we can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. Oh, was I supposed to click on the other one? Huh. I guess this part is still the same. Let's check somewhere else. That's a little too early. Let's enter from a bit further ahead to see the results. Oh, okay. Can I do anything else here, though? We move pretty fast as heads. I guess not. Even in his future, he'd still marry River, so that's not too concerning or anything. Sheesh, the same thing here as well? Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Okay, this isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. We need his last accessible memory. The 
This is the same setting as his last accessible memory. Real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about where this is going. Where are we going? I didn't tell you to walk that way. Okay. <laughs> no, stop. I just like to look around and explore. Oh, shoot, I should have gone in the house. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu, again. My name is Dr. Eva, Eva Rosalind, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him too. Well, wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. It transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps. Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to? Let's go. I didn't get to look in the house. I'm assuming it probably would have stopped me anyway or there wouldn't have been anything in there because... Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then... What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully, that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Where is Neil? Did you see To the Moon? How was it? Eh, it was a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more. Oh, uh, je ne sais quoi. Talking about to the moon. I guess I'm supposed to go in. <laughs> to the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. I need to check on John to see if he's changed. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Ugh, I really should have gone into the house. I want to know. L 
Lily? Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. Where's Neil? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change, this is... May I have your attention, please? As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Neil. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus. To swing counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon. <laughs> the way it's like italicized and capitalized makes it sound so like overacted. It's freaking. Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps you! <laughs> but I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in love. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No. Why? Not even a tiny bit. Um, no. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Also, it takes 1.524 seconds, 47 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you. Especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> what? He tried really hard though, like, at least he did his best. He did as much as he could. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I, <laughs> I do try pretty hard. I know, I said that. Are you gonna go see if it worked? Of course, be right back. Back. Report, utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well. I don't know if he actually wants to go to the moon though. Why, why would he say he wanted that if he didn't? We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatments. 
But can you afford the lunar trip lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we rarely have anyone. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? Not you too, Roslyn. It's true, for both you and your spouse. Free pony rides in space! <laughs> oh look, a wedding, good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? River? <laughs> Dagnabbit. Glass slippery. Johnny! J John! What the cucumber? <laughs> Whew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that, we, that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway... As valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. so pixelated. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? But that's about all the time I have left for this video. If you guys liked it, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I will be picking this up exactly where I'm leaving off right now in the next video, so everything here will be exactly the same. But thanks for sticking with it, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.